right, here we go. This is it, right? Right over here by the stone? The shadow stone? Yeah, look, there's even the fun cave that has appeared. All right, cool. Oh shit, what is this? Oh god! Bring it up now! <laughs> oh, and Carlia too! Everyone wants to kill the fucking horse! Show me you've got <laughs> Oh my god! Why? Why? Did, how did they even know about it? What the? What's going on? Will they just kill the horse if I'm still on it? Oh my god! When we had last left the last dragonborn, the Thieves' Guild held a meeting with the arrival of once presumed vanished in a flurry of action, Carlia, who was thought to have killed Gallus, the prior guild master. However, it was soon revealed through Gallus's journal, now translated thanks to the Dragonborn, that indeed Gallus was not slain by Carlia, but instead the treacherous Mercer Frey. Indeed, it was he who is now... <laughs> he went on the run, and it was up to the new Thieves' Guild under uh, Brynjolf, I guess, to track him down and seek some sort of vengeance. Along the way, did they investigate his house where they found his plans to steal the eyes of the Fulmer. And now, Carlia revealed some information. Yes, more about the Nightingales. And it was with that information that the Dragonborn would travel along with Brynjolf to meet Carlia at a cool meeting place cave situation <laughs> and it was there that they would begin their next steps in tracking down Mercer Frey the terrible wretched dickaroo this is the Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim welcome pack Shoom! there we go let's get on over there did a little snoozing and losing in between sold off a couple of things you know what before we head out Maybe we should deposit Chillrend in our house, you know? I, it just occurred to me. You know, also, this is always where Chillrend ends up for me in all of my playthroughs. I don't know about you, but it always ends up on the, like, top floor display oh, the reforming the dawn of, um, Vampire hunters or of Honeyside. I don't, it's never in any other house for me. I always get it so, in here. Oh. Whoa, what are you doing in here? Come on, don't you need a warrant? Jeez. <laughs> Let's take it and then throw this shit up. Oh man, we haven't yet stowed something away? Good lord. When a weapon plaque is activated, it will place your currently equipped weapon on the plaque. Okay, well we don't want this one. We want uh, chill rend up there. Cool. Yeah, the paralysis chance is dope on that, huh? It is a very favorite early game weapon, right? But typically, by the time I get to it, I'm not in the early game. <laughs> Unfortunately enough. Right? Though I guess, you know what? The paralyzed effect on it is so nice if you don't yet know how to, like, put paralysis on a weapon. Which, can you in... In Skyrim? Maybe paralysis is only a poison now? I'm not sure. Yeah, now that I think of it... Maybe that's the case, because you know what? In Oblivion, maybe they learned their lesson that, like, yeah... Making paralysis readily available to the player, uh, as, as fun as that can be, it makes it really hard to balance your game, right? <laughs> Good lord. Alright, let's do a quick save. Hence why so many of the NPCs, and, or the random creatures and stuff, in Shivering Isles were straight up immune to paralysis, right? Uh, pretty clever, pretty clever! Let's get on over to this meeting spot, right? Let's see over here. Good, good, Watch good. the skies, traveler. Well, is there is that dragon coming back? Is it finally coming out to get me? I don't believe it. Let's see. Where do we need to go? Oh geez, am I not actually tracking it? I may not be. Trinity restored. There we are. Should I untrack these other things? No, you know what? Let's actually track up these jobs that I've got. Okay. And then you know what? We could probably untrack these. Right, we have so many cool-ass miscellaneous tasks, right? Good lord, I remember way back in the day, the whole miscellaneous task system blew me the fuck away. 
right? I mean, sure, there's the Radiant Quests, which, if you keep doing a lot of them, they begin to lose their luster. But not every miscellaneous quest is Radiant. They actually have, like, legit voice acting and stuff. It's fucking incredible, huh? Good lord. We, we scoff at it and say, like, eh, okay, yeah, you know, that's old Skyrim. But way back in the day, man, I remember being so fucking blown away by it. Just taken in by, uh... Oh, gosh. Can I... <laughs> trying to get my, my, my ass zoomed into my horse's ass here. Alright. Let's see. We need to go around this way. But I remember being just so, um, so taken in by it, right? Good lord. <laughs> I feel like half of this playthrough has been me reminiscing over the beginning periods of when Skyrim came out. Good lord. I think it, when Skyrim came out, it was the most I'd ever been excited for a game. And then it was so wonderful when it came out. I remember seeing people posting a whole bunch of dumb stuff on, like, forums and stuff of, like, um, there was, like, some weird commercial of someone in, like, a, um, a refrigerator aisle or whatever in a grocery store. And them, like, being blown away or blown down. And they, all these, like, Fusro Da video clips where it was edited with the trailer Fusro Da. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, everyone else is loving this game as well. It was, I was like, wow, they're going to keep making these games forever. And honestly, I'm here for it. I'm the sucker for it. I admit fully. Let's see here. Take care of this spider lord. Oh. Jeez. Oh, shit. Man, I went right into assassination mode. Okay. Let's see. Let's apply the venom directly. Can I mount this horse? Who is around here? Maybe it's just the horse that is. Oh shit, the horse is attacking Ilya! Hang on, Ilya, I'm on the horse. Alright. Ilya, you better not train it. I'm on the horse now, Ilya. Ilya! Ilya, I'm on the horse! Stop trying to- This is my mount now, Ilya! Ilya, come on! Ilya, don't try and kill this horse! This is my mount! Look, there's a bad person over here. It's some sort of vicious deer. Ilya, stop killing the horse! Please, Ilya, it's going slow now! All of your ice has slowed down the ho Ilya, no! This is my horse! No, God! <laughs> she hates it! She hates it! Oh, God. She's becoming a hag raven. Let's get out of here. <laughs> we can't wait for her to cool off. <laughs> She, all she's seeing is red now. She's just entered like a fit of rage. Ilya's so fucking pissed. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is it, right? Right over here by the stone? The shadow stone? Yeah, look, there's even the fun cave that has appeared. Alright, cool. Oh shit, what is this? Oh god! Bring it up now! <laughs> Oh, and Carlia too! Everyone wants to kill the fucking horse! Show me you got what <laughs> Oh my god! Why? Why? Did, how did they even know about it? What the? What's going on? Will they just kill the horse if I'm still on it? Oh my god! Fuck! <laughs> oh, this game is amazing! <laughs> oh wait! If I resurrect a horse, can I mount it? Oh my god. Oh, fuck me! Oh, terrible game. Worst game of my life. Oh, every time I think about when Skyrim came out, I'm filled with rage. My eyes turn... Or my eyes don't turn red. I see red. <laughs> I become a Dunmer. <laughs> In real life. What, what's the significance of this place? This is the headquarters of the Nightingales cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. What kind of an edge? Like a... Like a sword? Are we just like really dumb? <laughs> we take it very literally. Sorry, I'm like adjusting my mic here. It's... It's fucking falling. <laughs> Alright, what, what kind of an edge? If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. Ooh, tell me about the Nightingales. Gallus, Mercer Frey and I were once members of what's known as the Nightingale Trinity. The Trinity disbanded 25 years ago when Mercer Frey betrayed us by slaying Gallus and dumping his body in the ruins of Snowvale Sanctum. I don't know about this, Carlyle. The last time I put my faith in 
a trinity of some kind it didn't end too well. Were they a part of the Thieves' Guild? Indirectly. The trinity is usually selected from the ranks of the guild, although its existence is a closely guarded secret. What is their purpose? The Nightingales protect the Temple of Nocturnal, a place known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Who is Nocturnal? She's the mistress of night and darkness, and the patron of every thief in Tamriel. I never met a thief that worshipped anything. Nocturnal isn't one for worship and reverence. There are no priests and no sermons, no services, and no arm. Damn, she's so cool, she, she doesn't even care. Our luck, and in return, demands payment. Oh, this is why there's no luck stat in in Skyrim. That's why. <laughs> because of <laughs> because of what's going on here. <laughs> Sounds like a guild contract. You're closer to understanding than you realize. The only difference is she doesn't demand payment in the traditional sense. And sometimes the cost can be quite high. Whether you know it or not, Nocturnal dictates how well we perform as rogues. I have my skill, not powers or magic. Again, you have to think differently. Haven't you ever noticed how our luck behaves? Like a novice picking an impossible lock, or a blind man suddenly turning to face you as you reach for his pocket? It's through these subtle means that I love influences that. us. I love that they make it, like, all those weird gameplay mechanics, here they make it diegetic with that line. I don't know, something about that I fucking love. Sounds like she just likes us to suffer. Nocturnal's whim is the greatest mystery to everyone. There have been volumes written on the subject. Does she exact payment when we die? When we suffer, does she revel in our misery? No one knows. The return certainly seems worth the risk, though. What happened to capturing Mercer alive? From the moment you were struck with my poisoned arrow at Snowvale Sanctum, my path changed its course. Perhaps I couldn't bring Mercer back alive, but together we were able to clear my name and to put Gallus's memory to rest. I'd always intended Mercer's fate to ultimately be decided by the Guild, and it seems they've spoken. Hmm. Am I to become a nightingale? You know what? It just dawned on me in oblivion when we were reading through uh, the biography of Queen Baron Zaya. It was the voice that I gave for, for Baron Zaya throughout that. I think I was pulling it from Carlia. now that I think of it. I think that's exactly what the fuck I was doing just subconsciously. Anyway, sorry, what a weird ass tangent, but you know, <laughs> am I to become a nightingale? It's my hope that you will, yes. Oh my god! Carlia, really? Oh, what about Brynjolf? Sorry, Brynjolf, you might not be cool enough to become a, a fucking nightingale, I don't know. <laughs> oh no, wait, we need three of them. Well, Brynjolf, you know, I got, I got, I got a couple candidates here as well. I don't know if you, I don't know if you're gonna make the cut, Brynjolf. I'm just as puzzled as you lot. <laughs> Sorry, Brynjolf. All right. You think Nocturnal will like uh, this dead horse that you all put here? Jesus, one of you all shot Daedric arrows at it. Good God. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, look. She's got a fucking Daedric bow, I think. Oh, well, I can't... I'm not sure. No, it's not, is it? It's a... I have no idea what kind of... Hey, me, I, I don't... I don't ever use bows. Of course I don't know what kind of bow that is. It looks like a... Uh... A dark engraved bow. Mm, yes. <laughs> okay. So this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a myth was seeded within the guild on purpose. Damn. Let me eat some food real quick. As we're marching through here, I'm going to chow down on some horker love. Nom, 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 nom. It helped avert attention from our true nature. What's wrong, Brynjolf? I can almost hear your brow furrowing. I'm trying to understand why I'm here, lass. I'm no priest, and I'm certainly not religious. Why pick me? This isn't about religion, Brynjolf. It's business. <laughs> Look at me twitching around <laughs> with my fucking <laughs> mouse and keyboard controls. <laughs> It does leave something to be desired in third person, huh? <laughs> That's an advantage that, uh, controller players have. <laughs> a little more finesse there. 
for a century. Now, if you'll both proceed to the armory to don your nightingale armor, we can begin the oath. like that. Time's wasting, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. All right. The armor stone? Wow, I haven't heard... What sign is that? <laughs> I'm sorry, Carlia. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you should kick me out now. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What's in here? Ah, green apples. Wait, did I just take those? I, I meant to eat them. Oh, God. Yeah, look at me. What a fool I am. Okay. Anything over here? Yeah. Oh. Some cool stuff maybe down in this. Nah, nothing. All right. I like how the Thieves Guild is so fucking wild in this game. Like, they, they're like, yeah, sure, the Thieves Guild uh, arc in Oblivion, that was pretty cool. People seem to like, you know, the whole Elder Scroll thing at the end there. People really enjoyed that. What if we gave them a fucking uh, hideout in Skyrim, huh? That'd be pretty cool. And then so, someone just barges in the door. They're like, fuck that, man. Two secret hideouts for the Thieves Guild in this game. <laughs> We're doubling down! Not one, but two hideouts! Fucking A! Shit! <laughs> Purloin shadows, take that. Alright. And you know what? I'm joking about it. <laughs> but I kinda- I really kinda do like it. <laughs> it- it took me back, I was like, holy shit! Whoa, another secret base? <laughs> what? The three- the trinity? What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. Armor stone! Boom! <laughs> Alright, oh, I have to equip it, right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know what? This might be a problem. Carl, I don't know if I can equip it. Alright. I'll try. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Carlia, I look like a sneak thief, but I... I can't walk now. Or I can only walk now. Ugh, look at me. Look at my little eyes. Ooh. Scary. All right. Carlia, I have to RP walk the rest of the way. Oh, God. Should I take a potion of some sort? Good Lord, do I even have one that powerful? Filter of strength? No, that's even not enough. Oh, jeez. All right. Potion of strength? Nope. Solution? Nope. Can I, like, unequip it? Nah, we should probably keep it going. Hang on. I can- I can scream my way over. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah! There it is. Alright. Hey, what's up, you guys? Oh my okay, god. Okay, lass. We've got these get-ups on. Now what? Beyond this gate is the first step in becoming a Nightingale. Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the armor, but becoming a Nightingale? That was never discussed. To hold any hope of defeating Mercer, we must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own, an arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Brynjolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a Nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. If it means the end of Mercer Frey, you can count me in. What about you? Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? Fucking hell yeah, I'm ready to sell my soul. Or wait, I'm not sure I understand the terms. Let's hear what she has to say, just out of curiosity. By transacting the oath with Nocturnal, you're entering into a business deal. You'll be provided all of the power and knowledge befitting a Nightingale. You're free to use those powers as you see fit, to further your own goals, or the goals of the Thieves' Guild. And in return? In return, you'll be required to defend the Twilight Sepulchre and everything within when the need arises. More importantly, upon your death, your spirit will be bound to the Twilight Sepulchre as one of its guardians. There's no going back? Once the oath has been struck, the terms are binding. Knowing this, are you ready to undergo the ceremony? 
what if what if I already like pledged my soul to Meridia? Because I think I did that. Eh, they can share. I'm ready. I have a vast, vast soul. I'm ready. Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the circle. Time's wasting, and Mercer's still out there. Let's Fuck. get this show on the road. Bring you off. I'm like slow as shit. Hang on, Ilya. Do you want some cool ass armor? You better give it back to me, though, Ilya. Still here. What do you want me to carry? All right. Let's see here. How about all of my amazing shit? Oh my gosh. Look, now Ilya is the I'll ultimate follow. badass. And I'm just her little fuck boy. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Kinky. <laughs> Let's see here. Should I... Oh, should I use the blade as well? Maybe just for this mission, right? Hmm. Good lord, I'm still encumbered. Yo, oh, it's because of all this fucking orange shit that I've got on me from buying it up. I've got your back. Here, Ilya, take what some of this. Carry? Let's see. There we go. These. Oh, I forgot about the Debella statue. Whoops. These. Good. Horse hide. Okay, now we can get around. We could also deposit this. Daedric arrow. Good. Anything else? Nah, that's probably good enough for now. That'll do. Lead on. Okay. Cool. We'll speak when the oath is complete. Sure. We'll speak when the oath is complete. Let's oath it up. Time's wasting, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. All right. I'm I'm ready to show the road. Oh God. I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. I agree, Brynjolf. I'm ready to go. Oh God. Brynjolf, did I fuck it up? Let's see, stand on a vacant cliff. Oh god. I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. Oh god, where is she gone? She left us in here! Brynjolf! Where is she gone? Oh, Carlia, come back! Oh, hang on, I'm just gonna pick into this real quick. There we go. Take that. Neat. Okay. Here, we need to reconfigure our outfit as well. Let's see. Doing this should fix our problem, like I said. There. And then. Good. Look at that. Great. Okay. Maybe it's around this path? Is this the area? Oh, this must be it. <laughs> no? Uh-oh. This is sleeping quarters. The Red Kitchen Reader. We'll take it. Pretty valuable. I think we've read it before as well, but I'm not sure. There we are. Good. Draft of strength. Lockpick. All this good stuff. Okay. Neat. Maybe we do need the weapon, right? Well, I have it. Yeah, I'm using it right now. Okay. Oh, look. Did she move back up here when I wasn't looking? Nope. It's still just Brynjolf. This is enough to make your head spin, eh? Yeah. <laughs> My head is really spinning, dude. Oh, God. Maybe we should leave and re-enter. Maybe that'll fix it. Okay. Let's try that out. Alright, over here. Should I reactivate this thing? Carlia? Are, are you out here? Where'd she go? She walked past us. Somewhere. Oh, dear. Lord. Carlia, come back! We'll speak when the oath is complete. Okay. Where are you going, Carlia? Don't you need to stand on one of the three seals as well? Oh, God. What a fresh hell. Okay. Let's try it again. <laughs> oh, fingers crossed. Okay. Nope, she's still going out. Oh, God. What do you think will happen when she goes out? Where where, where is she going? Where do you we'll think she's going? When the oath is complete. Okay, okay. Wow, look at all the shit she's got on her. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> got a whole bunch of Daedric arrows. Oh, I love it. We'll speak when the oath is complete. Okay. Should we just wait for her to exit? Will she re-enter? Hmm, let's see. Stand on vacant floor glyph. Carlia has informed Brynjolf and I 
that were to join the ranks of the Nightingales and assist in reforming the Trinity that was disrupted over 25 years ago when Mercer Frey murdered Gallus. Alright. There she goes. Should we go back out and see where she's going? Is she just gonna turn around? No, she's going back to the guild or something? Maybe. Okay. Let's go and check in on Brynjolf then. <laughs> oh, what a fresh hell, huh? Okay. Over here. This might be another console command situation, right? Just as we had uh, with that Hagraven quest or whatever, right? Oh, did it open? No, it did not. Hey, Brynjolf, can you open this shit? This is enough to make your head spin, eh? Oh, for fuck's sake! Bring you off, let me in! This is Am I not wearing the full set? Let's see here. Oh, shit! Nothing like your head spin, eh? Alright, we're going to quick load. Let's see, maybe that'll fix it. Fingers crossed, once again. Okay, over encumbered once more. Fixed it. Okay. Now it works. Oh shit! This is an I think we should trust the Good Lord, man. I said take the deal. Is this because of the horse? Is, <laughs> is this because of the fucking horse at the beginning? Come on, you're kidding. Oh, oh no wait, she's leaving again. Oh, come on, Carlia, come on. We'll speak when the oath is complete. All right, let's just rest here and let's see if it, if she like resets or anything. Oh, I can't even rest in it. Okay, wasn't there another bed? Let's see. Go on back here. Over to hmm. Back this way. No, I'm not sure where it is. Yeah, where was? Wasn't there another bed area? Be careful. Sorry, Ilya. All right, over here. Because aren't we all three supposed to enter there? Right? I think all three of us are supposed to enter and then stand in the, the runes and all that and then the big cool thing happens, right? If I remember correctly. Okay, here, we can rest. Let's go eight hours and that should give her plenty of time to go back and forth if she needs to. We'll see. I feel like the horse for real did maybe fuck it up. Okay. Good. Rested. Let's see. And then over here. Time's wasting, and Mercer's still out Shit. there. Shit! Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> oh my god! Brynjolf, I don't know what to do! Oh, Brynjolf, I don't know what to do. Should I just Time's go through wasting. the wall? I can Mercer's TCL. Let's, Let's get see. this show on the Let's road. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's toggle clipping. All right. Boom. All right. There we go. Yeah, that's right. I am a wizard. Look at this. Will this make it work or will it break it even further? Oh, look, it's amazing. Oh God, I don't think it works. <laughs> I think we broke it big time. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, this is because of the horse, isn't it? Oh, fuck me. All right, all right, all right. Let's do a big time load, right? Let's do a big time load. Let's see. Let's go all the way back to the beginning. There we are. Good, good, good. And we'll <laughs> Shit. All right. We'll, uh... We'll do a quick cut here. I'm gonna get us to exactly where we were before, right? All right, we are back. Whew, hopefully, this does the trick, huh? <laughs> we're in our armor. They're in theirs. The Fingers oath. crossed. Once more. I am ready for the oath, Carlisle. Look, she's ready to go. She's not walking in the incorrect direction. Everything's looking good. Everything's looking great. Gordon has not in some way. Okay, earth. okay. We're getting a little too close to her. <laughs> there we are. All right. 
I don't remember what powers you get. You definitely get some kind of power. Hell yeah, I'm ready. I'm I'm ready. I don't even need to hear the Good. rest. After I open the gate, please stand on the circle. Okay, you better open it, Carlia. You better I do it. Trust the lass and take the deal. Yeah. We'll speak when oh, the God. earth is complete. Give her a wide berth. <gasps> no! No! Carlia, no! Oh, God, is it because I walked up to her? Go the other way, Carlia. Open it. Open it, Carlia, please! Oh. Ah! Go up there, Carlia, fix it! Open it! Huh? Did, did it work? Shit! All right. Look, maybe we can just foos her up there. Right? <laughs> Good lord, my stam regen ain't, ain't doing us any favors either. Let's see, let's re-equip everything. Good. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Curlia. Open it, please! Look! <gasps> Almost. Go on up there. Do it, Carlia. You can do it. You can do it. Oh. oh. There we go. Sorry, Brynjolf. Sorry. Had to be done. Okay, almost. Huh? A little bit closer. A little bit closer. There we go. Huh. All right. Just going to keep pushing her over that way. Come on. Come on, Carlia. Come on. Come on. Come on. My hope is that when she gets within range, she'll, like, automatically pull on it, right? That's my hope. Okay. There you go. There... There you go. Time's wasting. And right. Russia's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. Good. Get it, Carlia. Hit I that shit. Oh, God. Oh, she doesn't want to. She really doesn't want to. Oh, and I didn't even have the horse situation this time. Hang on. Maybe if I... There we go. She's right next to it. Get it, Carlia. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, okay. All right, let's try and quick load, and we won't approach her this time. We won't approach her. Oh, God, I'm all the way back out here? Oh, jeez. I thought I quick saved inside. What's up with this? Hmm. Let's see. Try and load here. Nightingale Hall. Oh, God. All right. Oh, look, my, my load thing is still weird as ever. Okay. This is before we got all of our shit, right? All right, fuck me. We're going to do another cut here and see if this works. <laughs> Worst case, I have to, like, look up some sort of console command and fix it that way. We're going to do this. All right, here we go. We're back. The moment of truth. Oh my god, I think she's going to- Oh, you fucking butthole! All right, I looked up a solution. And one such solution is to attack her. And that may work. All right. We'll speak when the oath is complete. Did that work? Come, taste dog. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. She really wants to fucking kill me now. We'll speak when the oath is complete. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think this is working either. Oh, God. Okay. Let's see, let's try this. We'll try and shield bash her, I think, right? Let's see, where is my shield? Oh God, did I unequip it? Did Speak I give it to- the oath is complete. Yeah, I gave it to Ilya, I I'm guess. I'm right behind you. Let's what see. do you want me to carry? There we go. Okay, I want that back. You lead, I'll follow. 
We'll speak when the There we are. And then let's try it again. There we are. Come on. Did it work? God, I'm sorry, Carlia. There we are. Good. All right. I bring death from the shadows. Oh God. No, I yield. I, oh my God, she killed me instantly. Holy shit! Wow, she does a lot of damage. She does a whole lot of damage. Good God. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Oh, this is a nightmare. I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. Alright. Yeah, follow her. She's... She's still back here. Yep. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, we may have to look up some some real hefty shit for this one. Let's get this show on the road. Okay. I did look up a console command that you can use, but some people seem to say don't use it. I don't know. Hmm. Let's see. Check this. There we go. Yep, she's got her stuff. All right. Go on over here. You appear ready for the oath. Yep, I'm ready for the oath. <laughs> Good God, Carlia, what the fuck? <laughs> Is it because I didn't follow him out here, maybe? As soon as it was ready? Okay, lass, we've got these get-ups on. Now what? All right, while the they're talking, I'm going to very quickly try and look this shit up on my phone. Okay, here we go. Round two, baby. Oh shit, she's already turning. There we go. Shoot her up there. Did that work? Okay. Did it work? Oh god. Let's see here. Let me get my shield back. Good lord, I gave it to Ilya again? Jeez, I'm just absentmindedly giving my shield away here. Okay. Still here. What do you want me to carry? Good. Whoops. Oh shit, I'm taking all sorts of stuff. Okay. Take that back. Let's and then let's see, re-equip the shield. Go Good. ahead. Okay. Carlia, this should work. Your life is forfeit. Good. And then we'll run up here by the shit. Okay. Stow away our stuff. Did that work? Nope, she's still getting the fuck out of here. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. There is another potential solution to this. All right. Let's see. The idea is we disable the gate. Okay. Boom. Gate's gone. Completely gone. Time's wasting, and Mercer's still out there. All right, we've got this, the shit on. on. We go up here. <laughs> God. All right, we stand on this wonderful thing, and then we type in this magical passphrase that lets us have access. Okay. Let's see here. Set stage. TG. 08A. 52. Huh? Oh! Brynjolf's coming in! Is Carlia coming back? Brynjolf is coming in! Oh, Carlia, you better be coming back. She's coming back! She's coming back, baby! We may have fixed it! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, anything is possible on <laughs> on PC. <laughs> Alright. Dope. Yeah, have a good one down there, Ilya. <laughs> there we go. Alright, holy shit. We may have finally done it. Oh, the most difficult challenge yet. 
<laughs> joining the Nightingales. I don't remember the induction being so involved and difficult, right? Okay. I'm in position. I call upon you, Lady Nocturnal, Queen of Merc, and Empress of Shadow. Hear my voice. I hope Gordon being here doesn't mess things oh, up. Carlyle, I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? <laughs> Carlyle is taking the Jeb pose. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Me. That's what that was. She was doing the Jeb pose. You're already mine, Carlyle. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath. To serve you both in life and in death. You surprise me, Caroline. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. Yeah, what about us? How interesting. Doesn't he still have Nightingale powers? Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Does that mean there's four tell. now? We accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your Avengers and your Sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next until your conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale. And I restore your status to the same, Carlyle. Oh. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Okay, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, they're not they're not nightingales anymore, as as was said. We just don't know why yet. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright. Now that you've transacted the oath. It's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. Oh, right, here we go. He's done more? Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. The skeleton key. By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal and, in essence, caused our luck to run dry. So, the key unlocks any door? Well, yes. But the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. All of us possess untapped abilities. The potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Whoa, Once what? you realize the key can access these traits, the potential becomes limitless. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't remember that at all. Okay. The guild should possess this item. The three of us could keep it. Sounds like no one should possess it. Yeah, let hey, the three of us, let's let's chill out with it. I'm afraid that's impossible. Oh no. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence, and whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. I wonder if you could somehow use the key to like unlock your mind palace or whatever, and then like interact with an Elder Scroll in some way, right? I feel like there's a lot of things that you could do by combining those. Huh. Alright, first time I ever set out to return something. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Let's go. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to him. Alright. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. Why tell this to me? Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with him, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves' Guild. Oh my god, me? What about you? I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do. Maybe even one of the best. But it's all I know. I've never been one to lead. Never desired it. Never cared for it. Don't want it. Where's me? <laughs> Fucking random-ass adventurer off the streets that you just met a few days ago? 
All I know is leading. <laughs> Good lord. I'm I'm a natural born leader. Just look at me. I have a crab following me and a witch. Alright, I don't know what to say. It's about time you asked. No, it's not right. Can we actually say this? Let's say this. Look, everyone in the guild admires what you've done. Maybe they won't come out and simply tell you, but I promise you it's true. And now they know Mercer never genuinely cared about the guild. He lacked the loyalty you obviously possess. I can't think of anyone better. Hmm, I don't know what to say, Blush. Well, we have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation, so don't get sentimental on me now. Alright, I accept. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. Then let's get to it. I've been poring over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthand. Urkenthand. and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lad. This will be a fight to remember. Cool. Yeah, first thing I'm gonna do is get out of this light armor. <laughs> I guess we're Nightingales now. Aye. And some of what Carlyle said is starting to make sense. Mercer may have damaged our reputation and raided our coffers, but this goes well beyond even his twisted form of larceny. Old Delvin kept calling it a curse, and we all laughed at him. Looks like the joke's on us. Do you think we stand a chance against Mercer? Yeah, I mean, we're there's three of us, and we have the power of, like, a demon god. If you would have asked me that yesterday, I'd have said no. But now I think our chances have improved. Yeah, just a bit. Look, call me crazy if you like, but I trust Kalaya. I don't think she'd lead us down a suicidal path. Besides, also, I'm the dragonborn? I'd rather <laughs> die with some of Mercer's blood on my blade than spend the rest of my life regretting that I ran the other way. All right. Cool, cool. Until next we meet, lad. Sounds good. Where are you going? Probably back to... No, wait. We're go They're going to the meeting spot, right? All right. Well, you know what? It was a little uh, touch and go there, but it panned out in the end. <laughs> I wonder if this is another new bug that only uh, ever occurs Sorry, lad, in the special edition, right? To do. We'll I could see that because I remember in way back at, at launch in Skyrim vanilla, I guess, never had that issue, right? Eh, what can you do? All right. Cool. Well, you know what? We were going to do some reading, but uh, I ended up having to <laughs> to like do a lot of reading myself looking for a solution here. Good lord. It's going to be kind of a mess to hopefully edit in all those cuts, but maybe, we, maybe we'll maybe we be able to get it going in a good way. Let's see. Carlyle, do you have anything to say? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh. I don't feel stronger. With the skeleton key missing from the Twilight Sepulchre, I'm afraid Mercer's seen to it that none of us can benefit from Nocturnal's gifts. But she spoke to us. You merely transacted the oath, signed the unwritten contract with Nocturnal. In order for us to receive our abilities, our end of the bargain, I'm afraid the key must be returned. The Nocturnal's angry at us? If Nocturnal was truly displeased with me, with any of us, she wouldn't have answered my call. I have no doubt that we still hold her favor and I believe it gives us enough of an edge to defeat Mercer Frey. Hmm. You know, I always, like, instinctively go to hide my cursor by putting it to the side, and it always pans the camera around. <laughs> All right, may I ever return to Nightingale Hall? Yes. Now that you're in Nightingale, you may consider this your home. You'll find that this place offers many things that will help you in your endeavors, as well as a wealth of information for you to learn. Really? Once the skeleton key has been restored to the Twilight Sepulchre, I'll make this place my home as well. Okay. Sure. Sounds good. Sorry, lad. I've got important things to do. We'll speak another time. Alright. Man, we're already near the very final moments of the Thieves' Guild arc, right? Holy shit. Okay, cool. Well, like I said, when next we come back, we'll have swapped out our armor. Maybe we'll be in Riften as well and sold off and stowed away some of the stuff, right? Good lord. <laughs> you know, we, we did kind of do that, but then uh, there was uh, some, some hitches along the way, <laughs> to say the least. All right. Until next time, please take care of each other.